Okay, Sunny, so congratulations. Season finale, you know, season one, season two, it was a very <laughs> hit, and uh, now it's season finale. So tell us something what's going to uh, be in season three, and what are you going to do? Um, well, it's not season three, it's season two, and um, it's just the rest of the episodes of season two. Um, season two brings me all the way until I land here in India, and um, that's where the story. That's where season two's finale ends, is when I, when I land here uh, to go on the Big Boss show. And um, season two, season one talks about my childhood and everything that happened as a child or a young adult, teenager, and all the decisions that I made up until that point. And then season two goes into, you know, my family, my mother and father both pass away. And I get married. Um, <laughs> that all happens all back to back craziness. And um, it goes through how our decision making went into um, coming here to India. So there's a, there's a lot of different stuff happening in the show. Okay, how many memories did you recollect, you know, when, while shooting or like for the song things when you were going on? Um, well, the whole thing is one big memory because all the stories are real. Um, all the stories that I told, they were real stories. Um, and that was extremely important to me that real, what happened in my life is actually what we show. Um, of course, maybe a setting is different, you know. We weren't in a restaurant, maybe we were in a house or, you know, whatever it was. But the core base of that story is what gets told. Okay, so you start in your own biopic, so how difficult was it to comprehend and how difficult it was to manage and convince yourself? Um, well, I wasn't keen on making a biopic of my life, um, except when uh, the production house and Daniel, they, both, they all came to me and said, this is what we want to do and this is how we want to pictureize it. And what I liked was the idea that they wanted to get into family life and family dynamic and, you know, fun, quirky little things that happened growing up that, <clears throat> you know, people don't get to see, you know, in a, in a film that's maybe two hours or two and a half hours. Because we were doing a series, we could really get into a lot of different details of, you know, my childhood and certain things that, you know, maybe we all go through them. I don't think that a lot of the situations that happened growing up or even some of the situations as an adult are things that are so off of what happens to everybody you know it's just I've gotten a chance to pictureize it and they're very relatable situations and there's a lot of relatable situations growing up of a immigrant family going to Canada and being there and all the different things that they had to go through and live up to or um, just normal things that happen except you know we don't always see it because when you see a film it's just it's heightened to the different level so we kept things as as real as possible okay uh, we have already <coughs> seen Daniel being at your side in any which ways you know so when you told him that I want to do this biopic or something like that what was his reaction uh, <laughs> well it was the other way around Daniel came to me and said I really think that this would be amazing and people are really curious and I had a bunch of people in front of me um, <laughs> telling me about, you know, what they wanted to do. And my first reaction is, I don't think that people are going to find my life interesting. And, or, why would I want to go through that again? You know, and it's very, very difficult. So, it was the other way around. Um, and they convinced me. <laughs> but it's turned out for the better because I've gotten to make something that I am proud of, even though I can't watch season two at all. I don't want to go through that again for a third time and watch it, actually. Um, but I think that it was a is a good decision if I was going to go down this route to do it with Z5 and um, the production house and everybody being able to write a story that's real. Okay, uh, it's season finale, and you know you have done with your biopic. So you have also recollected many memories. So how will you describe your journey in a Bollywood dance? In a what? In Bollywood. Uh, how will you describe your journey? Oh, from when I from when I came here. Yeah. Oh, it's that. It's a it's a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> um, it's a different type of uh, 
journey compared to one that, you know, when you grow up and you make certain decisions. Coming here has been the most amazing and it's been scary at times and crazy and ridiculous and um, amazing moments happen. I mean, I adopted, you know, Nisha, Daniel and I adopted Nisha from here. And I mean, there's so many amazing things that have happened since, you know, I've come. I think more good things than bad. Okay, in 2016, you did your thing with Writer as, you know, an e-book with Speed Dream. So, do you have any plans to going back in the writing? No, I have no plans to go back to writing. That's very difficult. Hats off to writers because you guys are amazing. Okay, so you have seen your, uh, the industry very closely. Or you have dealt with the variety and you have also gone with the criticism. What advice would you like to give Nisha if any uh, time she wants to get into Bollywood? First, she'd have to convince me that she'd want to do it. And I wouldn't let an underage child get into the entertainment industry unless she begged and begged and begged me. Um, because I do believe that children should be children. Unless that is, you know, like there's certain kids out there that that is their path. That's what they were born to do and they're amazing at it. Um, I have no idea what Nisha's path is going to be and what she's going to do or how she's, how she's going to be as a teenager or even as a 10-year-old. I have no idea. Um, so I'll only be able to answer that when she gets older what I do right now I'm saying no 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 I want her to just be a child and enjoy life um, you know so we'll see okay. it's not my life it's her life she's gonna make her own decisions okay Sunny so being a mother what changes have you uh, got after being a parent in your oh life? it's absolutely amazing it's the best um, time period of my life ever it you know every time I wake up and I see my children it's the best feeling. I mean, this morning Nisha was feeding the boys and it was the most precious thing I've ever seen. Um, and I'm sitting there videotaping. I'm like, everybody back up, let her do her thing. <laughs> so uh, it's it's really just so amazing to watch um, all three of them. Okay, you know, uh, being an artist, you know, there is very difficult to give the time to your children. So do you remove some time for your children? Or Absolutely. I both Daniel and I really wanted to be parents for a very long time. So we spend so much time with our kids and I feel like we've been blessed. Even though we're working and we're working very hard, we've done a great job in our time management to make sure that we are there during their waking hours. If they're sleeping or napping, we're trying to finish our work or get as much done as possible. And if I'm on long shooting schedules, um, I bring the boys with me and then Nisha will come on the weekend. So we do spend a really great amount of time with our kids. Okay, besides Bollywood, you know, your perfume brand Bless is also soaring high. So how do you stumble upon the idea of launching the perfume brand? Uh, well, I launched uh, last many, it was a few years ago. And it's done very, very well. And uh, last year we launched Star Starstruck, which is my cosmetic line. Uh, we're one years old, so happy birthday to us. Um, <laughs> we're all very excited. It's all done very well. The one thing I tell young people all the time is that this is a country where if you have an idea, you have a dream, I, it's possible. You can make your dreams come true here. It's one of the most emerging fastest growing industries and markets in the world right now. So if there's young people who have a great idea, go for it and stop thinking about it because it's it's awesome. Okay, so you're also doing a nebu in Malayalam industry. So how, how was that experience for you? Uh, it's been great so far. I've only shot one small schedule and we're going to start shooting again um, very soon. But everything has been amazing. I think that if I can work and make films and just keep working and having fun doing it, then I'm the happiest. I'm the happiest woman ever. Okay, was it difficult for you when you talk about the language? I think that with language, um, with the right training and the right people around you, that you can learn anything you want if you really want to. Mm -hmm. So so far, it's been okay. <laughs>
Okay, so any Bollywood upcoming project you would like to share with us? Yeah, my our production house um, is going to be launching its first film, um, shooting it this year. So we're all very excited. I would like to share uh, uh, share something about the film. <laughs> I'm not allowed to because there's this guy he's standing right there, staring at me, going, "Don't you dare say anything, Sunny." Um, <laughs> uh, we're all really excited. It's a, it's a story that I've been working, you know, we've all been working on for the last, uh, I think it's been a year or a year and a half. And um, it's all coming full circle. Um, so we're all really excited. Okay, uh, Sunny, lastly, uh, before going, you know, I would also like to ask you any kind of role which you're looking for and you would like love to do it. I think for me, it's all about the content and the story at this point in my life. Um, I've made decisions based on various different things and a lot of those decisions didn't work out so great. Um, so for me, it's all about, is it a good story? Does it make sense to me? Because if it doesn't make sense to me, then why am I going to shoot it? Um, there's so many different stories I read all the time and I think, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Where is the logic in some of this? But, you know, that's why I read everything, because every so often you read a story and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Um, we should definitely pursue this forward. So it's, it's all about what story is presented in front of me. It's just based on what I like. That's all. Thank you so much. You're Send welcome.